Purdy <laughs> throws for over 300 I mean, yards. What is that, bro? But what also, is that? Also throws I, one I, to I'm the wrong team. I'm not defending that. I'm not defending. <laughs> what is that, bro? Well, that, that. Vikings pull off the upset. <laughs> Here's one of the stars the of the game. Take a listen. Uh, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I'm not one to interrupt the show or brag and throw things in someone's face, but uh, hey, Mr. Broussard, can I get my credit today? Can I get my credit? <laughs> Have a great show. Great pick. <laughs> yeah. by, I, I thought I had a good upset alert with the Packers, mm -hmm. and I did, but yeah. that was a fantastic. Yeah. Are you blaming Brock for this? Are you, are you going to apologize to Greg? You mocked him. Unbelievable that they're going to ask this question. Rather than um, talk about the Vikings. Rock, no. <laughs> apologies. Apologies. You can say that because of the uh, the first interception gave plays. the ball at the 10. Absolutely. And they scored. And then the fump they just dropped the ball, whatever. So those, you can say he cost them the game. I will honestly say, though, he was throwing some dimes throughout that game. Like that dude was threading the needle all day long. He had three bad plays, as you said. Outside, of, I mean, he was throwing absolute dimes. So, he was a – but, you know, you can't make these mistakes. Sure. But the defense is a problem, too. The defense to a team missing Jordan Act Atkinson and missing TJ Hawkinson. Mm -hmm. And then Justin got hurt in the third quarter. They gave up 403 yards, seven and a half yards per play, coach. So, the defense – it was a full team effort. And there's some look, Minnesota's a tough matchup for them. They beat them last year. But not only that, they've won eight straight games against the Niners in Minnesota. Last time the Niners beat them in Minnesota was 1992. Yeah. So, yeah, Brock didn't play well on no – he made costly errors. But he was dropping some dimes, too. Yeah, Brock didn't play well. He, I mean, he didn't have, like, a Patrick Mahomes bad day, but he didn't play well. <laughs> exactly. But, but here, let's look at it. They lost by six points, but they had a punt block. Right. which led to three points. They went for it on fourth down from the plus two yard line instead of kicking field goals. So that's three points. So that's, mm -hmm. that's the difference in the game right there, those two things. Vikings are seven of 12 on third down and had 10 minutes more time of possession. Okay, so we could look at that. At the end of the game, after they pull within six, the Vikings go on a 14 play, seven minute drive and kick a field goal. 14 play, seven minute drive, kick a field goal. Ayuk has barely any production, and the team has seven penalties. So you could say it's all Brock Purdy, but there's plenty of things yeah, on this list. Yeah, and there's also the Fred Warner amazing interception and the Fred Warner forced fumble at the one-yard line. Mm -hmm. There was, And there's also the fact that you're supposed to. I know they didn't have the full complement of the Avengers. Oh, I understand that Captain America was out, but they still had the Incredible Hulk. They still had Flash. They still had Iron Man. They still had all those other guys out there supposed to usually score more than 17. Those, those guys aren't then, playing defense. The, no, it's, no, it's, it's hard but, to score. Got it. With a, a got it. seven minute I, drive in the I, fourth quarter. Not, okay, yeah, listen, I don't think the defense, I didn't think the defense so was far. great, but I think that the Niners, the, the, uh, what is the worst performance? Allowing the Vikings to score 23. Or you're off in scoring 17. I don't know. I thought they both had some cartoonishly bad moments. Both of your safeties coming across the field. That's not great. But Brock Purdy having the pick was a bad decision. That happens. Losing the ball, which didn't get called a pick, even though it was caught it was in the high. air. Yeah, it, it, just because high. it went backwards. It, it was a fumble that was caught in the air. And then the other one that we showed when they were trying to get back in the game down nine right here, that could have been another one. And so I... The other, so I, I understand we can, if we want to make excuses, we can. We can also say in the first half, second half, Brock Purdy played a really good first half, and the second half was bad. And I can say after week one, Brock Purdy literally had more passing yards in one half than, than Patrick Mahomes had in the entire game, okay? In the second half, first off, Brock Purdy had a passer rating of 81.7. Um, Mahomes had 80.6 for the entire game, okay? So, like, against the, the Bengals, who are not looking good, number one, and who are decimated, um, both, uh, you know, especially um, on offense and defense. They have they got injuries all over the place right now. So, the fact that Brock Purdy and the, and the 49ers just got beat by a really good Minnesota Vikings team doesn't mean that you put all the blame on Brock Purdy. 
okay? I mean, that's insane. If you're not going to blame, if we're not going to blame Patrick Mahomes for having a bad game and the fact that he was bailed out by the fact that, again, the Bengals are just not playing well and that um, they got, you know, a, a rookie um, a defensive player who's just going to not really make a legit contested effort and just do a, a pass interference and, and get, get real lucky with that. Get lucky that his defense picked him up and got a, a you know, a fumble on Joe Burrow. Like, let's be serious here, okay? Patrick Mahomes literally could have had three interceptions. I think it was only two for the game. And yet you don't want to rip him, but you want to rip to, um um Brock Purdy because he wasn't lucky enough to get away with some of his issues because his team didn't do good enough to kind of pick him up like it's just that simple so the fact that you just want to put all this blame on Brock Purdy rather than just the 49ers as a whole or just the fact that the Minnesota Vikings had a great game and and the fact that Sam Darnold balled out and Kevin O'Connell had a great game plan is just absurd to me it really is it's absurd when I said I thought he was better than his numbers suggested. The numbers in week one were pedestrian. Yeah. I thought he played really well. The numbers in this game, to me, I thought he played way Fair. worse than the numbers suggest. And if Brock Purdy wants to be discussed and sit at the big boy table and, and talk about I'm, I'm trying to take my game to the next level and I'm disrespectful when I call him the 14th best quarterback in football, then we judge him as such. And those guys are expected when they're a touchdown favorite and they have what what coach I was just wondering where's your tweet about their offensive line? Do you have someone who's the, talking about <laughs> all the problems? Right, you that, just made a ton yeah, of excuses tons, for yeah. Caleb. I didn't make I've, any excuses I've, for Caleb. Caleb I, really? I, I all said, you talked about was the I, I, you brought a tweet in that 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 I said okay, their offensive line guys, and that's, picked up a listen, you know what? Years. You know what? <laughs> if, if you guys if you, we all watch football this weekend, if you guys thought the Bears and Niners offensive lines were equivalents, that's fine. And if you guys want me to hold Brock Purdy to a second career start standard, I will. I'm told I'm being disrespectful when I do that. I thought the guy Ooh, okay. Nick's getting a little angry. Um I won't I won't come after Nick because they did it. They they did it. They did it. It is just a lack of consistency. Um, you can't blame Brock Purdy for this game. Teams lose, okay? Players don't play elite. This is the problem with Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy doesn't have a perfectly clean game. He doesn't pass for 400 yards, four touchdowns, and zero interceptions, and they immediately just want to say he's the problem. He's the problem. He's the problem. How was Patrick Mahomes not a problem for the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday? The guy had two of the most, three of the most, awful interceptions i've ever seen i mean like just like really 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 bad and no we can criticize patrick mahomes and defend brock purdy and no we can do so in a way that's not saying yeah well patrick mahomes has multiple super bowls yeah we know that we know that we know patrick mahomes is one of the best quarterbacks to ever play it doesn't mean that we can't criticize his bad gameplay or that we can just explain it away or hold Brock Purdy's feet to the fire because he doesn't have a Super Bowl. So when he wasn't Superman, that means he's just not good. That's the inconsistencies. That's the unfairness. We're not giving grace where grace is deserved. It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. And if Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs really are that great and that amazing and that elite, well, then it makes sense that they would beat Brock Purdy and the 49ers. That if it wasn't the Chiefs, then the 49ers would have won a Super Bowl. So we can almost treat Brock Purdy as a Super Bowl winning quarterback in any other era outside of the Patrick Mahomes era if we want to play Nick's game in that regard. So then if we're going to use Super Bowl and past as a, as a frame of reference of why we could then maybe defend a player or give them grace, well then technically Brock Purdy kind of deserves that. You see the mental gymnastics we have to go through when we're not being consistent? This wasn't some just disastrous game of Brock Purdy. To me, this was a great proof of how sometimes a quarterback carries a team and sometimes a quarterback needs his team to kind of pick him up or to support him or to kind of, you know, buff out some of the issues. But th this wasn't a di I, I, even talking like this, though, makes me feel like we're being unfair to Brock Purdy, like he just was the problem. No, the Minnesota Vikings played a great game. They are a significantly better team than most people thought they were. It's that simple. They are a bet. They are a really good team. So if you're a 49ers fan, I understand you maybe don't want to hear that necessarily, that the Vikings are a good team, but they are. And they always play the 49ers pretty well. Kevin O'Connell is a great coach. 
And you know what? Sam Darnold is a really good quarterback. And you know what? Your head coach, Shanahan, knew it. That's why he went out and got him. That's why he, he spoke glowingly positively about him. So it makes sense that Sam Darnold's having success. In fact, Sam Kevin O'Connell has Sam uh, has Sam Darnold because of your head coach Mike Shanahan because he knew. Uh, did I just say Mike Shanahan? Oh God, Kyle Shanahan. I think I messed up a lot of names in this segment. Just run with it. So Sam Darnold's a good quarterback. Good quarterbacks play great against good teams. Against great teams, they step up when it matters. This was a hard fought game, and quite frankly, the Vikings. The score could have been even higher for the Vikings. So, yeah. I just don't think that we have to sound the alarm on Brock Purdy. On Brock Purdy being a disaster for the 49ers, and that's why they lost. No, the Vikings just came in, and they they punched the 49ers in the mouth. It happens. It absolutely happens, even to great teams, even to elite teams. It happens. It's happened to the Kansas City Chiefs. It's happened to the 49ers. 49ers, the Ravens did it to the 49ers last season. It happened to the Ravens. It happened to the Eagles. It happened to the Vikings. It happens to every team. Can we stop acting like when this happens that it's just like so unique? Now, if it happens a lot, then we can talk about it. Because I just recorded a whole segment about the Cowboys being punched in the mouth. And it happens regularly against the Cowboys against really great teams. When the 49ers do play the Cowboys, they get punched in the mouth. See, when things are regular and there's a pattern, then we can discuss it. Then it makes sense. But this isn't this isn't a common experience for the 49ers necessarily. And if it happens again this season and again, then we can discuss it. Then we could say, okay, what's happening here? What's the problem? But we don't have to sound an alarm and already just hit the eject button on Brock Purdy. That's insane. And to act like missing Christian McCaffrey isn't a big deal and that, oh, he doesn't have all the Avengers, please name a single player that won't get worse when they, a single quarterback that won't get worse when you take away their number one offensive weapon. Please tell me a single quarterback. Not even Patrick Mahomes would survive that. Not even um, Tom Brady would survive that. Even he will not look as good when you don't have your best players around you. It's just common sense we know that we've seen this over decades of football <sighs> just i don't even know man i thought this was going to be a minnesota viking a minnesota vikings video and then when i see them just kind of bashing brock purdy oh my god you do not watch that game and say brock purdy is just clearly not good yeah man he's just he just you know he just can't carry a team yeah, he's just bad. No, we have a beautiful example. We have a beautiful example of how someone like Patrick Mahomes can play awful, but because his team, because of coaching, because of luck, can still win a game. And Brock Purdy can play pretty good, have a few mistakes, but play pretty good and still lose. You can see how it's a team sport, how who you play matters. If the Chiefs were as much of a juggernaut as everyone thinks they were, as Nick thinks they were, they should have dominated the Bengals. Should have dominated the Bengals. They were down T. Higgins. They were down three, four, five guys. Guys I don't even remember the names of. I mean, my God, the Bengals are held together with like literal scotch tape and super glue. Why didn't the Chiefs destroy them? Like what? Like what are we? Like what are we? What are we? What are we talking about here? Come on, man. That's crazy. Crazy nonsense, madness, insanity. But what do you guys all think? Do you think Brock Purdy is to blame for the 49ers um, loss versus the Vikings? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing, I'm all fired up. We are building an amazing community here and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.